right, welcome everyone. This is today's layout. But here, just a quick reminder of, well, I keep knocking those off. Uh, what we did yesterday, got the central tower of our haunted Halloween house built. I kept calling these shutters, but I've looked at the picture and that is actually going to be the front door. So, can I don't know if there's going to be a critter or something in there. They, they're, it's closed on the picture, but if there's not a critter in there, we can... I can definitely find some critter to put in there, but I think I think it's got a good vibe to it. You know, the, all the spiky stuff and I say real reminiscent of the Adams family or uh, Munster's house. All right, but with that display done, let's start building some other towers. It appears it's going to be tower one or tower two or vice versa. I, yeah, I guess you go left to right, tower one, tower two. <laughs> But anyway, I digress. So we just take our big chunkers. And we got these two fellas. And this one. And there you go. Obviously with the printing on the outside. And one of the small ones here. Actually, maybe <laughs> no printing on these, so let's see if can get these all together, then maybe make them cooperate with this other one. <laughs> I sort of doubt it, but it's possible. There. Where are you guys? Oh, okay. It's sort of cooperating. There we go. A little wobbly because everything's down at the bottom, but <laughs> everything in place. I say still going with those nice tight seams on everything. Looks really good. You know, flush and all that good stuff. Now we take. Oh, take the one with the spider web on it, and it goes in here. Start up on our roof. This broken guy here. And that slot. Mm -hmm. And this with a big old hole in it. <laughs> and, uh, no, wait a second. Wait. A bit. I may have turned it around on me. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, yeah, this one goes here. Okay. And then over here we got... I think... Oops. Those two are the same size. So this is a different one. No. This is the one that goes up here. Because that's going to fit together with that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> These are... Yeah, those are about the same size. So they both go just... Where I confess I goofed up yesterday and was using my glue wrong. <laughs> it's, it's sort of. So I'll try and do it right today. So, what, you, what I should have been doing is getting it in position and just running a bead on the outside where the UV light can hit all of it rather than just the part that's showing. <laughs> I think that's how I'm supposed to do it. So, 
that in position. And I just do a, so just a bead through there and hit it with the UV. Just another bead up here. Hit it with the UV. And there's one more right here just for good measure. I don't think it's, I think that might be overkill, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> I hope it is anyway. shaking up. Yeah. And can I get, my, get it, something to check the Yeah and that stuff is already cured. It's dry. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> I do like this stuff. Now same thing on the other side. Keep it in position and Clamp it down. Give me a bead right here. Yeah, I noticed when I was doing those window seals yesterday, it was, they were falling off pretty easy. I hope this is why. <laughs> I would like to say, I was just hitting the stuff that was like sticking out from the outside and not the whole line. So it sort of would have made it less efficient. And that appears to be stuck pretty good. <laughs> Dig it. Okay. And... I'm not done gluing yet. <laughs> Got this guy. Goes in that. stuff is so far been pretty neat too as far as you know new spillage and whatnot cleaning on my nozzle there. <laughs> oh, there's where the... <laughs> Messed down on my cap too here. <laughs> Clean that off as well. Okay. Alright. 
I'm still not done with the glue one. I keep putting it up like it's all come done with it or something. I don't. <laughs> I can just look ahead and see. <laughs> Put our door on. I think if somebody was of a more artistic nature than I am, this this one wouldn't be one of those that'd be ideal for painting. Even if it, you know, even just did orange and black sort of Halloweeny colors, <laughs> I think it'd be cool to have that. Uh, sort of vibe to it. I guess so. I'll zoom here in here a second. This is a devilish looking cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Get in there on that cat. That's, that's it. <laughs> that just looks evil. That grumpy cat was bad. <laughs> Okay. Now get the, this is the part I hate about having a poster for instructions. <laughs> Just gotta flip it to get everything in. Okay. Now it says to put these in, but I'm gonna save those for last because I've still got more gluing to do and I wanna make keep everything flat. <laughs> This guy goes in there. Oh, sorry, I can't see that. <laughs> Forgot I zoomed in on the cat. Oh. Oh, now. This one. Supposed to put our roof patch on. Good, that one actually was in cream. <laughs> Still zoomed in. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got. Oh, and we'll put our porch lights in. Oh, they're supposed to be down, not up. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Okay, we got, we got all this 
going on? Stay in focus. <laughs> so that's tower number one completed, I guess. Let's get you over there with our main house. And now we get to move on to the rest of these pieces for tower number two, or tower number three. I'm not even sure yet. <laughs> okay, so, and of course they're all mixed up now. <laughs> this one, this one, and this one. Make, yeah. Looks like, like these two. Yeah, because those are the ones with the to the sides. Yeah. Okay. So into the back. And to the front. Make sure they're they are not leaning the same way, so <laughs> do it the other way. Yeah. So, <laughs> and this gas over here. Good foundation, I would say. Now we do these guys. And... Mm -hmm. And which one of these? Looks like... Mm -hmm. oh. No, this one. Yep. <laughs> so... Well, that's not right. Yeah, because we gotta go with ones that fit in the. It's still not right. <laughs> okay, so let's go. And oh, I had it upside down. <laughs> tower it looks like <laughs> now there. this goes on these guys bring a little bit in for this I guess and what goes like see then these guys go the other way. crooked tower going so far. <laughs> now we take our piece. I got a little quick going quick there I think. I just need to slow down and <laughs> I'm almost done so I might as well
Mm -hmm. And then the one with the window looking piece there goes here. And the one with the extra, well, yeah, the extra. Well, they both have extra on the bottom, but the plain one goes on the back. <laughs> or that side, I guess. I'm going to say, look, I mean, I say, just look how tight that seam is up there. That's. And that, you know, I said that's not forcing or anything. That just popped right into place. That, I say, that's just exceptional tolerances on those. That's just a, that's just a pretty seam there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's our, that part of the Crooked Tower. And get our Wicked Witch on her broom flying out the, that thing. And our ghost going through the roof on the other side <laughs> and then our crooked lamp on our crooked tower up right there <laughs> all right and that is step 35 which is seems like a good place to stop because i think we can just take it home home tomorrow because basically tomorrow I'll just be building the base and putting this the, these pieces back to get on assembling them onto the base and then there's a bunch of decorations that go in the yard, it looks like. But these, I say, they're coming together. I'm, I think this is going to be a really good looking set. And like I say, if, if I were of a more artistic nature and was able to paint and stain, like I say, I would think staining would look better if you could get a nice dark stain wash on it where you could still see all the effects. I think that would look really good. Uh, I might look into that for next year. <laughs> If they hadn't come up with a bit, another set since by then, but I say these are, I say they're, they're going to be a good, a nice little centerpiece for, you know, put behind your Halloween candy bowl or whatever on your porch if you're one of those people. <laughs> I don't get many trick or treaters anymore. <laughs> but I say it's I'm, this is coming together, and I think it's a good looking set. I think it's going to be a good, nice looking piece all said and done. Uh, that was a pretty quick one, only 22 odd minutes, but uh. Like always, folks, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.